Hello guys and welcome to season number two with your Chicago Blackhawks franchise mode and today we're going to be simming it up close to the trade deadline and uh, we got a promising young team here. I mean some players are young but uh, we do have some very good potential here. Starting first line Kupari, Reichel, Kane. Second line Peltier, new addition Ivan Barbashev and Taylor Radish. Then Kachuk, McLeod, new addition as well, and Suzuki, and then Ratcliffe, Lafferty, and Blackwell on that fourth line. Defense, we got Stillman and Jones, amazing pair, back together again this season. McCabe and Lassie Thompson, and then Pierre Oliver Joseph and Ian Mitchell. Our starting goalies for this season, Mrazek and Soderblom. And a thing I did forget to tell you guys last season, or uh, last episode, which is very important, is this captain's jerseys Patrick Kane your new captain of the Chicago Blackhawks uh, Radish getting an assistant captain and same with Seth Jones so now we are ready for the season and we're gonna start this off with a little sim we are going against New Jersey in New Jersey so uh, yeah we're starting off on a two game road trip which isn't fun but let's hope we can get a win here Hopefully we can get a good start this season. I do think we can possibly squeak into the playoffs, but uh, you never know. Sometimes the sim is kind of weird. But uh, the sim was weird last year as well, so who knows. Come on, Chicago. Monaghan gives them a one nothing lead, but then Kachuk, right after that, ties the game up with his first goal of the season, and it is one to 1-1 going into the second. There you go. Good period. Come on, Chicago. Five minutes in, still tied. New Jersey gets a power play though. We do kill it off. And Blackwell and then Reichel back to back goals to give us a two goal lead on Vitek Vanacek. And a 4 1 lead. Ryan Suzuki gets his first goal of the season. Three goal lead now on New Jersey. That is a big period. And second period, we broke away a bit. That, that is a big period there for us. 4 to 1 now. Come on. Just hold the lead. Five minutes into the third. No goals allowed. Come on. Halfway through the third. Just. Teddy Bluger brings us back within two. Come on. Five minutes left. Let's go, Chicago. And Dawson Mercer. And he makes the game. It's one minute left. And we do hold on for the win. <laughs> I got scared. I thought we we're gonna I thought we we're gonna pull Elise there and it was it was very scary. Oh my god. But we do get the four to three win. Uh McLeod gets two points in his first game. On our team, actually, first game is the Chicago Blackhawk, and Ryan Suzuki gets two points. Reichel uh, bringing it back with a strong effort, one point, and Kupari getting a point. So, very solid game, 4-3 to three win. We take that. All right, good start to the season. Now we're going against Detroit. We'll, we'll, sim, we'll sim the first three games because we got two, two away, one, one home. We'll, we'll real-time sim all three, see, see what happens. We've got an interesting mix of teams here, too. Now going against Detroit, this used to be a little rivalry here. Chicago and Detroit actually used to be a big rivalry. And Larkin's going to get a goal on the first shot of the game on Mrazek. That is not a good start against Mrazek's former, former team. Ryan Suzuki keeps his little hot streak, gets another goal this game. There we go, ties the game up 1-1 one one in the first. We are out shooting them by good amount. And Ryan Suzuki gets a second goal of the game, and he... Gives us the lead now, 2-1 to one going into the second. Come on, Chicago. We're getting a good amount of shots. Who's in goalie for them? Uh, Vinny Husso, or Vili Husso. I can't think of his first name right now for some reason. Come on, halfway through the second. That's a big power play, or a long power play for Detroit, but we kill it off. There we go, Chicago. Good job. Five minutes remaining in the second. Can we get an insurance marker here? No, we cannot, but we do still have the lead. Going to the third. Come on. And Jacob Ferrana ties it up. And then Philip Sedina gets a power play goal. And we get another penalty. Come on. 12 minutes left. Come on. Someone on Chicago. We got to tie this up here. We're out shooting them by a ton. But their goalie's holding them in this game. There we go. Patrick Kane gets his first goal this season in a big time. It's 3-3. Three to three. One minute left. And we're going to overtime. See you guys there. And here we are in overtime. Game number two looking to get a 2-0 start to the season. Come on, and that is a big save by Mrazek. Instantly in overtime, and now Patrick Kane and Seth Jones have a break. Patrick Kane tries to make a move, but that's Lucas Raymond with a nice poke check. 
Come on. We're in the corner. Patrick Kane digging for it, but more but Mo Sider picks it up. Sends it up to Larkin. Larkin gets poked, but he keeps the puck up to Raymond. And Seth Jones destroys him trying to enter the zone. And now it's a break. Peltier. Kane. Over to Jones. Oh, and it's blocked. Peltier now. Back to Jones. Shoots. Saved again. Kane. Peltier. Over to Kane in the corner. And he gets knocked off the puck. And Moritz Sider is on a break. Sends it over to Zina, Zadina, but a big play by Patrick Kane. You don't see him making too many defensive plays, but he makes one there. Zadina behind the net. Sends one out in front. Moritz Sider gets hit. And Jones tries to pick it up. Gets nudged off the puck. Zadina. Mrazic is going to cover that. Ooh, stressful few minutes there. Good. Well, all right shift by our line. They almost gave up a few chances, but uh, not too bad. Come on. Who do we have on right now? Came and tell. I think Kupari's on. Come on. Philip Ronick gets hit. Bellino. Fabry saved by Mrazic, and that's going to be covered once again. 3.46 left in the overtime period. Haven't been able to win very many uh, face-offs here. Lost all the face-offs so far. The face-off win would be huge at this time. And we lose another one to Joe Valino. Ronick in the corner. Almost gives up one. Almost gives up a break, but he almost gets a goal too. Trying to go top corner on Mrazic. Kupari sends it up, but Valino keeps it in. Ronick shoots it right into the chest of Mrazic, and it is covered once again. We are being hemmed in the zone. We cannot get anything going here. Come on. Let's go, Chicago. Who is this on the faceoff? I can't even I can't even tell. I think that's Reichel. Come on, Reichel. Get us out of this. Yes, and we win the faceoff. Back to Lassie Thompson. Lassie Thompson's gonna bring it over to center ice. And he gets absolutely smoked. Oh my god, and they're on a break. And it's a big save by Mrazic. Oh my god. Lassie Thompson gets smoked, but he's still in the play. Not hurt. Come on. Clef bomb in front. He should be injured for the rest of his career, I think. But I guess he's here right now. Radish gets tripped, and we got a power play. We're going to call a timeout here. How, how much time's left? Three minutes left in this period calling a timeout hopefully we can get something going let's go Chicago this is huge for us four on three Jonathan Taze centering for Detroit what the hell come on and we tie up the face off Kane goes in can't grab it but we do take it McCabe over to Jones Jones tries to get it to Kane but good good four check Kane grab that Pisek in the corner, holding on to that puck, and Jonathan Taze clears it. One of the best penalty kill forwards in the league on Chicago or on Detroit. So that doesn't help too much, but Kane is sprung. Kane one on one with the defender and tries to go five hole, but Barbashev picks it up and scores. It is a two to er, it is a two zero start for Chicago to start off year number two as us being a GM. There we go. Big overtime win. Barbashev getting his first goal after signing that big contract with us. And we do take the game 4-3. to three. There we go. See you guys out of the game. Captain Kane and Ryan Suzuki having big games last game to give us the win. Let's hope we can continue this at our first home game against Winnipeg. Come on. Let's go, Chicago. In front of your fans, too. Make it. A 3-0 start to the season. Winnipeg's out shooting us right now, and they get a power play, but we kill it off. Come on, Chicago. We got to get some more shots here. Halfway through the first. Power play for us. Can we get a goal on the power play? No, we cannot. Five minutes. And Brady. No, not Brady. Boris Kachuk scores on the scores even strength and gives us the one nothing lead. And McLeod with seven seconds left. His second goal of the season. There we go. 2 nothing lead going into the second. Come on, Chicago. Still being outshot by five, not too much, but we get a second power play of the game, and Lucas Reichel gets his first, oh, maybe second goal of the season. There we go, halfway through the second, and Lucas Reichel gets now his second or third goal of the season. That's maybe his first even strength. There we go. Come on. 
Third period, up 4 nothing. Just hold the lead. Don't do anything stupid. Give us a nice, nice calming uh, 4 nothing. Oh, never mind. Soderblom, though, having a solid game so far. Come on. Halfway through the third. And now it's a two-goal game. Chicago, what the hell are you doing? There we go. Patrick Kane. Captain Kane's not allowing that to happen. It's 5-2. to two, And it is a 3-0 start to the season. We are not letting off the gas from last year. There we go. Lucas Reichel leading the team in points. Now let's get Sim in a little bit here. We'll go a month. See how everyone's doing. Look at the stats and all that stuff after. We'll go. Actually, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go a few, few weeks here. Up next is Vegas in Chicago once again. Come on. 3-2 win. We get that win there. 4-0 start. Now against the Rangers, 1-3. We get another win, 5-2. Now against Montreal in Montreal. Hard place to play, and we felt it there. We felt the pressure with a 3-0 loss. We get shut out. Now against the Toronto Maple Leafs at Toronto. Come on. That is a 6-4 loss, but we do pick up a 3-1 to win. A three to one win after that against the Carolina Hurricanes. Now Columbus Blue Jackets seven and one. We do pick up a point against a seven one team. We will take that gladly. So looking at the points, Patrick Kane leading the way once again. Twelve points in nine games. Great start to the season. Seth Jones also having a great start to the season once again. Ryan Suzuki eight points in nine games. Radish seven. Reichel 7. Our offense is going off right now. Lassie Thompson 6 points too. Looking like a great start. Goalies. Uh, whoa. Soderblom has actually got more starts than uh, Mrazek. And he has been doing amazing so far. That is really nice to see. Look at the entire league so far. McDavid is, and Dreisler are off to a very hot start. Same with Matthew Kachuk, Barkov, Malkin. Regular people you think. Malkin is kind of surprising. But, uh. Pat, Patty Kane still up there. Doesn't matter. He's 34. He is going to be up where up there for m most likely the end of his career. All right, going into month number two, six two and one. Uh, that's what we like to see. We like we like that start so far. We are very happy with that. Come on, now against the Pittsburgh Pe Penguins in Pittsburgh. Can we get a win here? No, we cannot. Five three loss. We are picking up a few losses now. Come on, defense. We're let, allowing a little bit, a little too many goals. 5-4 loss, 6-2 win against Vancouver, so we pick one up there. But 7-4-1, and one, allowing a little too many. I don't like like the amount of goals we're allowing here. 3-2 win. There we go. That's a nice win. Colorado 2-10-2. We pick up a 5-4 win and a 3-2 win against them. That's a four-game winning streak we have so far. Now Winnipeg, we extend it to 5 with a 2-1 win. New Jersey now, 4-3, six-game winning streak. Now against Florida. And that's another win. And that's another win. Eight game winning streak. Wait, let's see. That is one. Six two win. Three two win against Nashville. Five four win. Three two win. Two one win. Four three win. So we had one, two, three. We had five one goal games in a row. Six two in there though. So that's one, two, three, six. Eight game winning streak. Now against the Vegas Gold Knights in Chicago. Once again. Can we beat Vegas? We can. That's a nine-game winning streak. Now up against Minnesota. They had a very high pick last year. Doing a little better this year. Can we beat them in Chicago once again? Whoa, Mantha for two for two thirds. I'm gonna have to go back to that. And our streak is over. The nine-game winning streak. Let's sim the rest of this month. See what happens, and then check the stats of our players once again. Oh, Riley Stillman injured. I'm gonna have to edit these lines. Be back in a sec. All right, guys, Pierre Oliver-Joseph having a good start to the season. He's going to take over the first line role for now. Nicholas Bowden's going to come in playing that third pair on defense. So let's see if we can get these back-to-back -back wins. And we do. 2 nothing shutout win and then a 5-4 to four shootout win. So let's see the stats of this month. Patrick Kane still off. Like, he's on fire right now. 31 points. We're seven. Wait, are we seventeen five and one? Is that a record? Oh my God, seventeen five and one. Oh my God, thirty one points for Kane in twenty three games. Twenty two for Barbashev, having a great start to his new team. Seth Jones picking up from last year. 
last year had a great season, but it already has almost half his points in only 23 games. Taylor Radish also having a great season last year, but having a great season this year. Michael McLeod having an amazing season. Kapari having a good season. Reichel. All of our players are stepping up to the table when we need them the most. Lassie Thompson, 13 points in 23 games. He's having a breakout little year right now. And um, Razik's starting to do a little better too with Soderblom being an amazing backup so far. Very reliable backup. Markstrom, Demko having great seasons so far. Let's check the points. Patrick Kane and Debrinkit, former best friends, tied for the league lead in points. That is very, very interesting with Goudreau and Giroux. The older guys, older guys are leading the way. Goals race two. Kane is one behind the lead. That is crazy. Kane, 35 years old. He is up there with the best of them. Now defense. Let's see defense. Uh, Seth Jones, two points behind the league lead for points as well. Seth Jones is on fire. That is crazy. Now let's check rookie skaters. I always like seeing how they're doing. Shane Wright is going insane this year. Ballistic. Gunther, Turcotte. Ryan Suzuki up there as well. I forgot he's a rookie. He is classified as a rookie. So he can race for the caller this year. Having a good season. So uh, you never know. You never know. Maybe he could possibly get it done. Okay, so let's start getting simming in December now. Had a great start the first two months. Let's just keep it going. Keep it rolling here. Oh, actually, after this game, I want to check something quick. We do lose 7-2, damn, against the LA Kings. That is not a nice loss, jeez. But uh, I want to check if we do, because I don't remember if we signed a player to a one-year deal, because I have a feeling that we signed maybe McLeod to a one-year deal, and he's doing very good so far. Taylor Radish, we can extend. Joseph, Lassie Thompson, Stillman. I think Stillman, how much does Stillman want? Let's give Stillman a, a two-year deal here. He's doing amazing with Seth Jones. I think that is a nice little investment. And Lassie Thompson. Let's see his stats. Doing very solid on that second line. Whoa. That's a big jump. Two years? Well, I, I'll take a two-year deal. Two years, 1.75. So he's 25. That is not bad at all. And yeah. McLeod, I guess we have to wait till the end of the season. He is having a great year. Huh, wow. Very, very nice. We like to see that. All right, let's get going once again. We're actually here, guys. Before we keep going, let's check the draft class because I haven't checked this yet. I did do all the scouting, but let's see. Let's see. There's supposed to be a right winger going first. 20 points in 22 games down in the SHL. Ulf Nordstrom down in the SHL is again. Or as well, playing on the same team, left defenseman, five foot nine. He is a small demon. That is that is funny. Uh, left winger supposed to go four or yeah fourth. Offensive defenseman, NHL ready supposed to go fifth. That that could be a very interesting player. Let's see if there's any gems so far. Nope, haven't found any gems. And uh, I do want to check. Our offensive defense, and that's playing down in the OHL. I want to see how he's doing because he is a big part of our future. I haven't paid too much attention to him, but he is very important. 76 overall, he's grown a ton, and he's having an amazing year. Way over a point per game right now. That is or in the WHL. Yeah, that is very, very good. So that is good to see him having a great start to that season as well. So it looks like the franchise as a whole is doing quite well so far let's hope we can continue it now against minnesota in minnesota let's see if we can get our second win against them of the year nine nine and four riley stillman and lassie thompson both accept their extensions i'm gonna go put riley stillman back to the lineup all right guys so we're back with stillman uh stillman and jones first d pairing so hopefully that can help us do a little better Montreal 5-19-1. We better get this win. Come on, Chicago. Please don't do this to me. 9-4. to 9-4 to four win. Holy crap. Jeez, that might, that might be the most goals we scored uh, 
in my GM tenure here, so that's pretty cool. Now against Pittsburgh, they're having a great season as well. The Avalanche fire their coach. Here, let, let's stop this for a second. The Avalanche are the bottom of the division, 6-19, and 19, after winning the President's Trophy last season. They didn't lose anybody. What the hell happened to them? I'm so confused. I just see Colorado all the way down at the bottom. And they're the first team to fire their coach this season. And the only team so far. Landis Gog, McKinnon, they're not having great, well, like, plus minus seasons. Donato, Ryan Donato on the second line is minus 12. New Oak's doing very good. I don't know what's wrong with this team. They're... Their third line and their bottom six is absolutely horrendous right now, I guess. And Byram is negative 22. Holy God, minus 22. And minus 17 for Gerard playing all the way down on that third pairing now. And their goalies are having awful seasons. 877 from their starter. That is not very good. Uh, I guess... I guess that's what happens with when your goalies are that bad. I mean, our goalies are doing solid so far, but... Like, nothing compared to that bad. Jesus. Let's hope. Oh, actually, I don't mind seeing them down there. Let's see if they can pick it up with their new coach. Now against Philadelphia for us, though. 4-1 to one win. We continue our little hot streak we have going. Now against Calgary. Another 5-3 win. Our team is streaky, and Mrazic gets hurt. Mrazic gets hurt. That is not what we like to see. And the rookie goalie might have to get called up here. Let's see how Mrazic's been doing. 907, very solid. But the rookie goalie, the 70 overall, 926 save percentage with two shutouts. He's been amazing in the AHL. He may have to get a game in in the NHL. That is going to be very interesting. All right, guys, so our backup got us another win against uh, Anaheim, 4-3 to three in the shootout, so that's very nice. Now we're up against Vancouver in Vancouver. Come on. We are on a hot streak, and they do end our hot streak. Now Peter Mrazek is back in the lineup. Let's see if uh, let's see if Longy. I don't even know how to say his name. Let's see if he got playing. He did. He did lose, but he had 9.23 save percentage, so not too bad. Soderblom's having a great year as well. That is incredible. Oh, you gotta be joking! Not the salary cap here. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So the lineups are back together, but we do pick up. Uh, we do pick up a 4-2 to two loss against the Leafs. Leafs are a good team, though, so we can't stress about that too much. And, oh, we're on a four-game losing streak now. We've lost both those back... We bust, Wow, I can't speak right now. We lost both the back-to-back -back games by only one goal. That's not very nice to see. Come on. We're still top of the division, though, so we can't be mad. 8-3 to three loss. Now we can be mad. Get with the program, Chicago. What are we doing? Five, six loss in a row now, maybe? Allowing a ton of goals. We lost against Colorado. They're doing horrendous this season. We are on a, a terrible losing streak. And everything we've done so far is just crashing down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 game losing streak. Come on. Do something against Boston, please. Riley Stillman gets injured too now. You got to be freaking joking me. Come on. Boston, 4-3 to three shootout win and we break the losing streak. Thank the Lord. But do we lose back to back and we get freaking smoked by Dallas? We get absolutely hammered by them. Back to back games. You gotta be kidding. Our team is just crumbling now. Kane slowed down a little bit. Uh, let's see. I feel like I feel like if we're losing all these games, it must be this top line not doing as good anymore. Nope. Seth Jones having a Norris Trophy caliber season. Mrazic is not doing very good anymore. That's what's happening. And it's probably the bottom lines because it looks like Kane was doing solid as well. Come on, Ottawa. 5-2 loss. And we we may fall over a playoff spot in the next week if we, if we keep playing like this. We're not winning a game. We're not even getting close to winning these games. A 5-2 loss. A 4-0 win. Finally. And wow, what an awful month. We have been absolutely terrible. This is This is embarrassing. The Chicago Blackhawks ruined the amazing start of the season they had. And wow, another loss to Buffalo this time. Holy crap, we're losing to everyone. Giving everyone free wins. The worst teams in the league too. Holy God. 26-20-2. And has the tide changed? 
Holy God. That is crazy. We have completely shifted around, and now we are barely in the playoffs. That is not very good at all. 29 points still for Reichel, so he's doing all right. Patrick Kane, 50, no, 60 points, 49 games, so he's still doing amazing. Like, what is wrong with our team? This, oh, my God, this fourth line has been terrible. Oh, my God, the fourth line has been horrendous for us. They have been allowing way too many goals down there. But we do not have much depth, so we're not going to be able to do anything about it. 6-3 six, six to three win against Edmonton. That's nice to see. Edmonton is a good team, so hopefully that can help us a bit. Shootout loss against San Jose. We get a point. We take that. Jake McCabe's injured. Come on. Okay, I get to L.A. Another shootout loss. We'll, we will take another point. We lose against Arizona. We get absolutely smoked by Arizona every time. For no reason. They are a terrible team. But we still can't do anything about them. Come on. Dallas now. Dallas destroyed us in the back-to-back -back earlier this season. We lose another game. Just a four-game losing streak. Tampa, five-game losing streak. And we're tumbling down the standings. Four to three shootout win. We break the streak against Florida. But Boston, we get another win. Thank you. That is the first back-to-back -back wins we've had in a long time, I think. We lose against Buffalo again. We lose against Tampa again. We, we're going to lose against... Oh, no. We beat Ottawa. Thank you. Where are we now? We are now in second in our division. Our division is very weak once again this year. So, that is good for us, at least. Uh, but before the trade deadline, let's see how our team's doing. Patrick Kane leading the way, which we'd expect, with 70 points in 60 games. So, he definitely slowed down, but... Not oh actually you know what the plus minus is not there anymore. The so the first line has definitely not been doing as well the past few games, but they are still doing very good. Barbashev forty eight, Seth Jones fifty one, Reichel thirty six, which is all right. Kupari's doing solid. McLeod, Logan Thompson having or last Thompson having a good year. Uh, goalies, Mrazek nine oh six pretty solid and nine oh ten for Soderblom. So we're, we're we'll take that. We'll live with it. Now, entire league. Let's see what's going around or uh, going on around the league. Connor McDavid, 88 points with 42 goals. Kyle Connor, 76. Goudreau, 76. Yeah, Goudreau and all of them just absolutely ran away from Kane. Kane is set. Oh, you know what? He's not that far behind. Now let's check goals. McDavid first, 42. Connor second, 35. Ovechkin 34, Marchand 34, Tarasenko 34, 34, Kane one behind all of them. So Kane is in that race once again. He is still going. And that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. We are still fighting for this playoff spot down in second place in our division. <laughs> everyone, everyone until six or number six spot in the division is within five points. That is insane. So thanks for watching. See you guys ne next episode. Peace out.